Do you remember the order of operations when it comes to math? What's going on, Excel Fanatics? Vertex is here. This video is back to basics as I review PEMDAS. So do you remember that back in school? Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So this is important to keep in mind when you're working with formulas in Excel. So here on the left, you can see that I have PEMDAS written out. And that has, in column uh, D here, you can see the accompanying symbols. So P for parentheses, E for exponents, or putting a number to the power of multiply, divide, addition, and subtraction. So here's your refresher. And you need to keep this in mind when you're dealing with long equations. Otherwise, you could get the wrong answer. So say with these two separate equations here, you have equals 25 minus 2 divided by 10. So that's our answer. So now do you see the difference when I put in parentheses here? 25 minus 2, close parentheses, divided by 10. You see how I have two different answers here. So obviously 25 minus 2 being in parentheses, Excel knew to solve for that first and then divide by 10. Here, it actually did 2 divided by 10, and then it did 25 minus the number there. So that's why you have two different answers here. Let me do one more. If we do equals 4 plus 3 to the power of 5, so 3 to, three to the 5th, excuse me, 3 to the 5th, it's 243, right? So that's actually 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So when we do 4 plus 3 to the 5th, it's actually doing 3 to the 5th and then adding 4. So it looks what happens when I add in parentheses. So 4 plus 3 to the 5th. So you see here how different these two answers are. So that's it. Real short video for you guys. Just wanted to make sure this was a quick refresher for you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.